Hi there, Luke Riggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to come out to shade this origami dragon using standard surface shader in combination with thin walled and subsurface scattering. So thin walled can be found under the geometry section of the standard surface shader and it provides the effect of a translucent object being lit from behind. And just ensure that you're using thin objects with single sided geometry as objects with thickness may not render correctly. So you can see it's ideal for thin objects like a bubble or a leaf, or in this case paper. So you can see thin walled translucency gives the effect uh, of this thin sheet of paper letting light through to the back side. So it's quite simple, just enable thin walled and set remember to set the subsurface weight. Okay, so we've got a model here. You can see it's a single sided thin object, which is ideal for thin walled. So I'm going to start off by creating a standard surface shader. Got origami. And then if we start off at the top, so we've got our base weight, we're just going to increase the diffuse roughness, give it a rougher appearance, and just increase the specular roughness a bit. Let's make sure we assign it first. And then we don't have to worry about transmission, just increase the subsurface weight. You can already see the effect it's having on the shading. Don't have to worry about um, radius of the scale. Now we go down to geometry and enable thin walled. See the difference it makes on the translucency, translucency of the shading. And then if we go back to the subsurface, we can give it a color. Or in this case, I've got a texture map, so I'm going to add an Arnold, Arnold image shader here. Open up the color texture. And then we'll also use the image shader, connect it to the bump. So under geometry, just drag the image onto the bump map, just reduce the depth. You should note in the ray depth settings, diffuse ray depth is set to one by default, which is giving us a lot of black in these um, more complex areas of the model. If we increase that, I'm going to go quite high on this, something like eight, you see a big difference it makes to the diffuse number of diffuse rays bounce around the geometry. We go back to one, you see, see what difference it makes. Just bear in mind it might add to your uh, rendering times. And then finally under images I'm going to add an overlay image here. So we can give it a, a book color title. Change the uh, opacity, we don't want any opacity. Uh, disable just font size and just increase the font size. We're going to just give it a title, so origami and position it in the center, at the top and in the center. Spelled it wrong. And then change the font, something like uh, California from color to black the size a bit and change the alignment of the margin. And there you go, we've got our origami book cover. Thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.